night I felt compelled to kind of deliver a message aligned with Palladian consciousness, empowered by a galactic understanding more in tune with Andromeda. And this message would be about appreciation and the ultimate gift of working towards the development of certain goals and gifts and certain abilities and truths that life has to offer. Often on a thought level, appreciation begins as an affirmation and we're able to become aligned with thoughts of positivity and we are able to begin to give gratitude on a mental level for things that we have in our life. And with gratitude, we start to appreciate um, what we gain from these things, what we gain from circumstances, from people, from situations, from events, from materials and emotions. But then as we build our understanding of gratitude and appreciation, we begin to see that in order to maintain the momentum and kind of push forward with the development of further objects of gratitude and appreciation, we need to work for and put in a specific quantified effort in order to achieve what it is that will then once again grant us the ability to come back and align with gratitude and be in appreciation for what once again we have brought into our lives. And this empowerment of the heart chakra through the alignment of thought and action towards the development of a larger radius of uh, aspects and things in your life to be grateful for, to appreciate. And then as you start to develop um, on a star consciousness level, we could say a constellation of specific aspects towards what will allow your heart to glow with a, a more constant gratitude and appreciation. And so first there's, there's these simple things like giving thanks when we sit down for a meal or um, creating a, a list when we wake up in the morning of things that we hope to achieve in the day and that would help us um, on our path to greater gratitude and appreciation. So these um, acts of mindfulness that allow us to align on, on a thought, on a mental level, towards what it will take. And eventually, you know, these, these thoughts lead to greater actions. And as we become more aware of, uh, of the appreciation of our food, we'll become more aware of how important it is to choose food with a higher value that deserves a greater appreciation. You know, we'll work harder to be able to maintain an organic diet, or at least a diet of less artificial, um, you know, chemically uh, modified food products that are packaged and bagged and aged beyond what is organically safe to be absorbed into our bodies and help cellular reproduction and all these advanced um, physical you know needs mental needs emotional needs so, you know you become more aware of what it takes to then go into like an event I had tonight with my family where we decided to make it a, a fun 
you know, fun family pizza making night. And so we, we had all the fresh vegetables, you know, we had a little kit for each of us to make our own little pizzas. And so I made kind of a mushroom, you know, a spinach pizza where one side had more some broccoli and peppers on it and another side had um, some extra cheeses and, and some salami. And, you know, everybody in the family had their own kind of ingredients that they honored a little bit more, that they, you know, gave a little bit more um, appreciation for, I suppose, or value to in actuality. And when we came together and we each made our pizza, put the work in, and it, and it came out, and my daughter Atma gave the grace, said our thanks, and then we shared these different pizzas, you know, everybody focusing on the one that you know, they valued the most, but also then being able to share it out of the contribute contributions of, of everyone in the family. And it was a really great event that proved the, the value of, of working together to create a meal, the, um, how the preparation of a meal goes into how much you then appreciate and are grateful for during the eating phase. And in the end, how much value you actually receive from the meal on a mental, physical, and emotional level. And I use this food just as kind of a symbol, as one of the most basic elements in our lives that we have to focus our mindfulness towards in order to develop a greater appreciation to develop a greater gratitude for that which we have in our lives so we can build a foundation of energy in order to support the momentum to work for even greater abundance so now we have as much abundance in you know food and beverage and standard necessities of life that we may need but there could be emotional you know things that are still lacking maybe relationships that have yet to have been fulfilled maybe something on a cellular or spiritual level still needs work and this is true in my life this is true in the greater world that I exist in. I see how much more work is needed to make the earth, human society, and the collective ecosystem we all share something to be more appreciated, something to have enough gratitude for that you make sure all your recycled items are being recycled. That you make sure you're not throwing trash out your car while you're driving. That you make sure if you can carpool, you are carpooling. If you make sure that you don't leave a light on unless you're supporting solar or renewable energy that's not going towards waste that's causing environmental impact that's going to leave future generations in risk of having some sort of lashback from the consciousness of Earth herself. And I don't want this video to be too long. So it's just a kind of basic reminder towards the development of an emotional power that will then give you mental clarity and mindful stability and focus to associate actions with the path to develop a greater cloud of gratitude you can share with others. You know, how, how grateful you can be to go to work and do your job.
how grateful you can be to learn something new every day that you can then share with your friends and family. How grateful you can be to become a better person. And so I gave a really simple example here of where that starts. And that can start with our food and our nutrition. Setting an affirmation while you eat to remind yourself, your body, your mind, your heart, your soul, to be grateful and appreciate the nutrients you're putting into your body. To be mindful and responsible to be to interact with the work it takes to create that meal. And then the work it takes to make sure all parts of that meal, you know, don't go to waste and get used to the best of their ability and shared with, you know, all of those who are contributing into their manifestation. And what creating that stable kind of foundation on something that we have to do every day and that becomes a communal, a family event can really kind of create a core um, event to begin to expand this consciousness of appreciation and gratitude, which then will lead you down a path or towards a life that will be so much more fulfilling and gratifying because you'll know that while the expectation of gratitude will automatically create gratitude and the affirmation mentally of gratitude and appreciation will give you more to appreciate out of the same material substance, it will also open up the door for you to become more aware of the actions you have to take in order to start manifesting more elements okay so now we, we have this but now we want to be able to travel and share this with more people now we want to be able to have this at a higher quality level <clears throat> now we want to be able to you know um, use this energy to connect on a deeper level with our purpose because in the end, what you must appreciate the most is, and be grateful for the most, is your own life and how this consciousness of life gives you a chance to share that with the surrounding world around you, all of the consciousness pushing in to your outward expression of your inner light. And so this quick, kind of long 15 minute video about appreciation and gratitude was given to you after a meditation on the masculine Andromeda galaxy and the feminine Palladian energies as I attempt to bring a greater alignment with my inner atomic and cellular network, self-consciousness, and greater co cosmic consciousness in a hope that all of us align with this intention and raise the vibration of Earth more levels, levels ahead of where it is. And I'm sorry, it is already like 1 a.m. so I would be sleeping but instead I was here meditating getting ready to drop this gift for all of you namaste peace and bliss be with us blessed as we can be the best is yet to come for it is seen in the present the gift to give is the presence of one within the one that's all I got within the